Imagine, in order to be relevant to the topic, let's say your conditions for the stream are leading to have hydrate formation which lowers your flow within the pipe and which is the potential danger for your plant. Now, you will need to avoid this. This time, usage of hydrate inhibition can be a perfect handle. To avoid or inhibit the formation of hydrates, you have a number of options available. First and rarely used one is setting the operating conditions outside of the predicted equilibrium curve for hydrates. Then, one of the mostly used one is injection of inhibitor solvents such as glycols or alcohols to suppress the formation of hydrates. These solvents serve as antifreeze agents and depress the freezing conditions of hydrates. And also, removing water from the gas stream, for example, by using absorption, can exactly help the engineer to overcome the potential danger. In this video, we'll model the use of methanol as an inhibitor solvent. To inhibit the formation of hydrates for a given stream in Aspenhysis, you must install a stream that contains the solvent, then you use the mixture operation to mix it with the process stream, and later use the hydrate utility to find the new hydrate formation temperature. As a result of solvent injection, the hydrate forming conditions will be reduced due to the association of the inhibitor with the water in the current phase, vapor or liquid for instance. In doing the flash calculations, Aspenhysis performs a three-phase flash and calculates the phase distribution of the components including water and the solvent perfectly. And therefore, solvent losses in hydrocarbon liquid and vapor phases are properly accounted for by the program. Please note Peng Robinson equation of state was not originally designed for non-ideal components such as methanol or glycols. The Aspenhysis Peng Robinson has optimized the solubility of methanol in hydrocarbon and aqueous phases. However, you should make sure that the resulting distribution of components in all phases is satisfactory, especially if three phases exist. Overall, this approach should be more accurate than traditional methods of modeling the inhibition characteristics of methanol that are based on the Hammer-Schmidt equation, which is used for limited, typical natural gas mixtures. Want to practice what we have said? Let's do that. In this exercise, we're given with the built process flow diagram, and only a thing will be adding the conditions and analyzing what the HISIS does. Let's say the conditions for sales gas are like this. Temperature is 10 degrees, pressure is 7,000 kPa, and its molar flow is 1,000 kg mol per hour. And also, we'll be using the inhibitor stream with 95% mass composed of methanol and balance of water, which is 5%, obviously. Here, be careful about changing your basis for the stream composition from mol to the mass fraction. Before mixing the saturated sales gas with inhibitor, let's make a stream analysis for the stream mix going to the separator. As you remember, for this, you will need to use the ribbon. See the stream analysis and choose hydrate formation option. And select the stream mix. Hydrate formation flag shows that there will be the hydrate formation within our stream and second type of hydrate will form. Here, you can come to the performance tab and see the hydrate formation temperature. It's approximately 10.35 degrees Celsius. Now, our aim is to prevent the hydrate formation rate using the inhibitor, of course. Let's choose the mass flow rate of 0.5 kg mol per hour, for instance. Then we can come back to the stream analysis of the stream mix. Now you can see that the hydrate formation will not form and its formation temperature is negative 15 degrees Celsius. Here you can experience that the amount of inhibitor 
can exactly affect the hydrate formation temperature. And take a note for yourself. You can also adjust the mass flow rate of inhibitor with the hydrate formation temperature. Yeah, that was the end of both this video and the section. In this module, you have looked through one of the most important concepts of HISIS. You've had the detailed information about water content calculations and hydrate formation predictions, and learned how to prevent this unwanted stuff. Now, you will need to take a break, but then come back, work on your notes and be ready for the quiz. Keep it up. See you in the next section.